Once I understood that, I got rich. Profits are better than wages. Nobody taught me that in high school. I went to college for a year and a half. I never heard it. I'm 25 and broke. I'm not destitute. I'm broke. Too much month at the end of the money is broke. And I finally hear this philosophy. Profits are better than wages. Now here's the phrase that goes with it. Wages make you a living, which is fine. Profits make you a fortune, which is super fine. And you can live both fine and super fine. You've now got the mechanism and the ways and means to do that. Profits are better than wages. Guess what? I taught this in Moscow when I was teaching capitalism. You know, the communists had it all wrong. They taught that capitalism was, you know, a big company that oppresses its workers. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. They had mentally lost it when they came up with this ridiculous philosophy. Uh, communism taught capital belongs to the state, not the people. And we taught all these years what? Capital belongs in the hands of the people, not the state. That's why, of course, kids should pay taxes, because they can be capitalists, and all capitalists should pay taxes. And it doesn't take much to start an enterprise that makes a profit. I teach kids how to have two bicycles, one to ride and one to rent. I mean, you know, how long does it take? How long does it take to make a profit? I mean, a little ingenuity and you're on your way. So profits are better than wages. Capitalism better than communism. Communism said people are too dumb and stupid to know what to do with capital. So you must take capital away from all the dumb, stupid people and give it to the all-wise, all-knowing state. And let the state run everything. I mean, that was communism. And they devastated every country they touched. I've been to East Germany. It's taking a trillion dollars just to clean up East Germany. They've already spent 500 billion, they got 500 billion more to go. I mean, every country they touched, and I've been in all of them, they devastated them all with their devastating philosophy. We teach capital belongs in the hands of the people. That's where the ingenuity is to bring goods and services to the marketplace. But once I understood this now, it was so incredible. Profits are better than wages. Now, when I first was recruited, I'm a distributor for this little product called a Bunda Vida. And here's what my mentor said, Mr. Schoff. He said, Mr. Owen, you can start this miracle working business part time. You don't have to go full time. You can start part time. And he said, if you'll devote to start with, let's say 10, 12, 15 hours a week, where you'll start making a profit, here's what you can now say. I'm working full-time on my job and part-time on my fortune because profits lead to fortune. I got so excited about that philosophy. I'm working full-time on my job, but now I'm working part-time on my fortune. I found a way not only to make a living, you won't believe this, I found a way to make a fortune. <laughs> can you imagine what that's like then to get up in the morning? To go to work on your fortune, not to go to work to pay the rent, which is okay, but a chance to go to work to make a fortune. And I said, right now I'm working part-time on my fortune and full-time on my job, but it won't be long until I'll be working full-time on my fortune. Can you imagine what life is going to be like? <laughs> now here was my first goal when I started, and that was part-time I wanted to equal on my profits part-time what I was earning on my full-time job. This is called the magic of part-time. It is so thrilling for people to start working the business part-time because now you can work on profits and it doesn't take very long. If you really concentrate on those 10, 12, 15 hours a week, it won't be long if you really do it right and learn some of the skills I'm going to talk about. It won't be long until you can be earning as much part-time working on your fortune as you are full-time working on your job. I did that in less than six months. Now I've got an incredible invitation. I found a way part-time to work on my fortune and I'm making as much money at that as I am on my full-time job. Would you like to hear my story? It was incredible. Now here was my second goal, to make twice as much money part-time working on my fortune as I was working full-time on my job. And I reached that in less than a year.
making twice as much money part-time working on my fortune as I was full-time working on my job. Now I've got an incredible invitation that won't quit. I found a way through a unique opportunity to work part-time on my fortune and I'm now earning twice as much money as I am working full-time on my job. Would you like to hear my story? Do you imagine anybody would say, no, I don't care to hear your story? Uh, no. Everybody I said that to said, wow, yes, what are you doing? I said, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you. Now, when I started making twice as much money part-time as full-time, here's my dilemma. I didn't want to go full-time. And why not go full-time? And the reason was because I didn't want to give up my electrifying story. <laughs> right? It was so powerful, nobody could resist the invitation to at least take a look. I didn't want to give it up. And I hung on for I don't know how long until it was, you know, almost insane. And then finally, finally, reluctantly, I gave up my full-time job. But now you can imagine the thrill and excitement of going to work full-time on my fortune. It was incredible. Here's the next one. Philosophy that helped change my life. It's not what happens that determines your life future. It's not what happens that determines your life future. It's what you do about what happens. All of us are in like a little sailboat. And it's not the blowing of the wind that determines your destination. It's the set of the sail. So jot this phrase down. It's one of the best to understand. Kids need to understand it. The same wind blows on us all. The wind of disaster, the wind of opportunity, the wind of change. The wind when it's upside down, the wind when it's favorable and unfavorable. The same wind blows on us all. The economic wind, the social wind, the political wind. The same wind blows on everybody. The difference in where you arrive in one year, three years, five years. The difference in arrival is not the blowing of the wind, but the set of the sail. And that's what learning is all about, to set a better sail this year than last year. To set a better sail. The first six years of my economic life, I wound up broke. Second six years, I wound up rich. You say, well, the Democrats must have finally gotten power. No. 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 It was not a political change. Here's what changed the second six years of my economic life. It was my philosophy that changed. The set of the sale of better thinking, correcting the errors of the past and picking up new disciplines for the future. That's all I had to do at the end of the first six. Correct the errors of the past and then pick up some new disciplines for the future. And my total life changed. The second six years was totally different than the first six of my working life. And guess who can do that? Anybody. Now you can keep on the same path for the next couple of years as you have the past two. But if you wish to, if you wish to, and maybe everything's okay for you and you don't need to, but if you need to make some changes, I'm telling you, you can start doing it today so that the next two years will be drastically different than the last two. And anybody who wishes to do that can. And you can do it between ages 40 and 43. You can do it between ages 13 and 50. You can do it between ages 60 and 62. Any two years, any five years that you wish to drastically change from the previous five, you can do it. If you wish to. Now, this isn't written. This is not a law. Here's what it's called, opportunity. But if you don't know you can change, if you don't know you can drastically change your income, change your future, change your health, change your marriage, change everything. If you don't know that, some people then go year after year after year after year not making much change simply because they didn't get to the class. They never read the book. They never went to the seminar. They never made the discovery. They didn't seek for the knowledge of how could I make my life better. And if you just rock along, I'm telling you it's okay. Anybody can live any way they choose, but I'm here to tell all of you that if you wish to, it's possible to make the next three years totally different than the last three. And all you have to do is just a few things. So if you got that one now, it's not the blowing of the wind that determines your income. It's not the blowing of the wind that determines your fortune. It's the set of the same. And that's why we gathered here today. Maybe I've got some ideas that'll help you with a couple of little things about setting the sail of your thinking that might drastically give you multiplied more benefit the next three years than you've gotten in the last three. So it's not what happens 
What happens, happens to everybody. Chevron years ago brought me in to talk to management. They said, Mr. Owen, you travel around the world and you're fairly knowledgeable. What do you think the next 10 years are going to be like? I said, gentlemen, I can tell you I do know the right people. So they all leaned forward and listened carefully. And I said, gentlemen, the next 10 years are going to be about like the last 10. <laughs> the next season after fall is... Oh, I promise you that's not going to change. After day comes night. I promise you that's not going to change. Here's how the last 6,000 years reads. If you want to make a note of Jim Rohn's vision of history the last 6,000 years. Here's how it reads. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. It's going to read like that looks like for the next 6,000 years. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. Now sometimes there seems to be more opportunity than difficulty and then sometimes there seems to be more difficulty than opportunity but the mix isn't going to change. After expansion comes recession but after recession comes expansion. Not to think so see is naive and once you've got just a little of this stuff settled then you know exactly what to do. You know exactly what to anticipate so you can be ready. Now, here's the next one. Here's what it says. For things to change, you have to change. I was hoping the government would change and taxes would change and economics would change and my boss would change and be more generous. I wished for everything to change. And my teacher said, no, Mr. Owen, for things to change for you, you have to change. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Once I understood this, this altered the course of my life. Don't wish it was easier wish you were better and here's the big one don't wish for less problems wish for more skills you don't need less problems you simply need more skills don't wish for less challenge wish for more wisdom accept the challenge because you can't grow without a challenge you can't get rich without a challenge you can't fly without gravity you have to understand the challenge but that's the key, is to now develop wisdom to overcome the challenge. Don't wish for less challenge, but more wisdom.